What's on guys? Welcome back to the TR7 Skate YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing another mini ramp tutorial and this one may seem like a slightly more basic trick but it's one that we haven't actually done yet and today we're going to do the tail stool. So there's only really two things that you need to be pretty comfortable with to be able to start doing the tail stall. The first one which is essential is pumping. Without pumping you're not going to make it near the top. And the second one is dropping in. If you can drop in it's going to make the tail stall a lot easier because half of the tail stall is a drop in. But if you can't drop in don't worry because you will still be able to do it as long as you're good at pumping. So the tail stall is when you make it to the top of the ramp going backwards and you stall on the tail of your board. And for those of you that don't know, the tail is the back of the board. So your back foot, when it goes right back to there, that means you're on the tail. So a tail stall is essentially just doing this, but instead of doing it on the floor, you're going to do it right up at the top on the coping. So the first thing you're going to want to get really comfortable with is making sure you've got the right speed for this trick and that's where the pumping comes in handy. You don't want to go too fast and too high on the ramp because you'll probably go over the top and end up hanging up and we all know hanging up is not fun. And then if you go too slow you might find that you do it too early and you miss the coping like that which is also a pretty common problem. You need to make sure you've got just the right speed so that your board will go all the way up and you can push forward and get it right up on that coping. The perfect speed and spot on the ramp for this trick is when you can pump well enough that your wheels make it just below the coping. You might even feel them touch and the tail of your board is going to be above the coping. If you go any faster you'll hang up. So make sure you can get really comfortable consistently hitting that spot just with your pumping because that's going to set you up perfectly for the tail stool. Foot positioning with this one has to be quite precise as well. Whilst you're pumping and building up the speed, having your feet on the bolts is probably the best spot. And when you're about to do the tail stool, so when you're coming down towards the coping, you want to make sure your back foot shifts to the tail so that you're ready to put all of your weight on the tail. It is much better to pump with the feet on the bolts because you're less likely to fall off whilst you're building up that speed. Try not to pump with your foot already there because that is going to make it a little bit more difficult. Assuming you're getting to that sweet spot on the coping really consistently and you've got those feet ready for the tail stool, it's time to start actually trying it. The first thing you should try and do is just really gently tap the coping like that and bring it straight back in. So in order to do this one, You've got to make sure that you keep your weight in the ramp the whole time. So that means you're still kind of leaning forward, but you're just gently lifting up that front foot so that the tail can touch. You don't need to throw all your weight up on top of the coping and end up here. That's a little bit more advanced. So to start with, really gently coming up, tapping the tail and bringing it back in like this. Even though you're only tapping the coping a little bit, you want to make sure that every time you do it, you hear this sound. If your tail isn't actually hitting the coping, it can be quite dangerous because you're just going to be balancing on two wheels and a lot can go wrong. So if you're going to do it, do it, commit to it. Really slap the tail onto that coping. Once you've done that a few times and you've got used to the nice gentle tap, you want to start getting the proper lock in, which is when you come up, you stall it and you go all the way so that your trucks and wheels are right against that coping, locked in position. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if you can already drop in, it's going to help you because once you're here to land it, it's just dropping back in, nice and simple. So 
to change it from a slight tap to a proper lock-in, there's two things you want to do differently. The first one is speed. You want to go a bit quicker because it's going to help you. And another thing is shifting your weight. So to get it properly locked in, you really want to think about leaning into it a bit more, getting a bit more weight up on top of the ramp as opposed to keeping it in the ramp. Because that's going to help you get right up to the point where your board is horizontal instead of just down here. Right up here. So the reason it's called a tail stall is because ideally you want to get it to the point that you can actually stall it, hold it still for a little bit and then drop back in. Then the key to getting that stall to the point where it's really locked in is you want to go even faster and the second you push that tail down you want to think about trying to throw all your weight up onto the top deck. And what you've got to bear in mind when you're trying that is even if it goes wrong you're probably only going to fall from here down to this bit. So you're unlikely to really hurt yourself. So try it. If you're already starting to get them stalling or even just tapping, try going a bit faster and really putting all that weight on the back foot. If you get it just right, you should be able to hold it for as long as you want and then it's just a drop in back in. So that's it for the tail stool tutorial. There's not really a lot more to say about it. The best thing to do is just get out and practice them. And like with any ramp trick, start on a smaller ramp if that's an option and work your way up to the bigger one. And then it will be a lot less scary and easier to commit to. As always, thank you for watching our videos. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps you learn the tail stool. And if there's a trick you're struggling with, let us know in the comments below. And if we haven't done it already, we will do a tutorial just for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the little bell so that you see next week's videos. Take it easy, man!